Well, I promised myself I wouldn't get upset, but you've just been so good. Adele's on the way. Stay there. She's in for Joan. She's an absolute cracker. From nine, you got jazz with Jamie. From ten, you got Trevor, of course. I'll see you tomorrow at five o'clock sharp. Have a lovely Tuesday evening. Radio 2 on the Sounds app, on your smart speaker, and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at seven o'clock. This is Harvey Cook. Merseyside police have urged criminals to turn in the man who killed a nine-year-old girl in her own home, saying her shooting crossed every single boundary. Olivia Pratt New Corbel was shot as she stood behind her mother, who was trying to stop the gunman forcing his way into the house in pursuit of another stranger. People living nearby in Notty Ash are scared. When I got up this morning and put the news on, I was in shock for hours. I was in tears. I couldn't take it in. Heartbreaking more for the mother because she's still alive. A baby has died, or because she opened the door. I've got three kids that are old enough to stay alone. And imagine I weren't there and they opened that door. It, it's scary. The fact that you can't go and open your own front door and be safe. A student nurse at the centre of a huge missing persons investigation has been found safe and well. The family of Awami Davis from Essex reported her disappearance seven weeks ago. Scotland Yard and Essex Police are to review their handling of the case. Detective Chief Inspector Nigel Penny is from the Metropolitan Police. This is clearly the, the outcome that we were hopeful for. In conjunction with my officers, we worked tirelessly with Essex Police to help find Awami. She's well. She looks in, in good health. She's in a place of safety and not currently in the vulnerable state that we were led to believe she was in at the start of her disappearance. Bin strikes are to start across 13 more Scottish councils tomorrow despite a new pay offer being made. Trade unions said they needed more detail about how a 5% rise would impact the lowest paid members. Coslow, the body representing local government, said it had a productive meeting. South Wales police are investigating after a Plaid Cymru councillor posted a picture of himself apparently with a gun alongside a comment that he was trying to stop English people crossing the channel. Here's our Wales reporter Mark Hutchins. In John Scriven's Facebook post from the South Wales coastline, he appeared to be holding a gun with a